how to make solid body bars. Solid body bars are a great alternative to cream or lotion and are very easy to make with just a few ingredients. Let's see what they are and why we are using them. Coconut oil helps bolster your skin protective barrier layer, trapping moisture inside and keeping the skin supple and hydrated. Beeswax hydrates, conditions, soothes and calms the skin. Like other natural moisturizers, cocoa butter is mostly made up of fatty acids. These fats may help form a protective layer on the skin, preventing moisture from escaping and therefore stopping the skin from drying out. We are going to use coffee beans for decoration as well. Let's start by measuring out the ingredients with the use of a scale. You can find this exact recipe down in the description box along with all the links to the ingredients and tools that I'm using or recommending. If you don't have a scale, you could also measure out your ingredients by volume, but it's much more exact to measure it out by weight, especially if you are using the metric system with grams. On what concerns the cocoa butter, it's a little hard and needs to be chopped up a little bit so you can measure it out. The alternative is to use the type of cocoa butter that comes in small pellets or chips, which of course makes the measuring much easier. Once all ingredients are measured out, I'm going to add them in a double boiler. This is a gentle heating method and my preferred one. But you could also of course use a microwave and if you do so, use short increments so you don't overheat the ingredients. While our mixture is melting down, let's prepare the mold that we are going to use to pour our mixture in. I'm going to use some coffee beans for decoration and add some interest to these bars. I like to place my mold on a tray or cutting board so I can move around my mold comfortably if I need my space, etc. Our mixture is now completely melted, as you can see. And I want to move rather quickly because this beeswax will solidify quite fast and stick to the sides of the jug. I'm going to add some fragrance to my solid body bars and I'm using a vanilla fragrance oil in this case. But you could of course leave your body bar unfragranced or use another fragrance or essential oil according to your preference. We pour our mixture into the mold cavities and then leave it to cool down and harden for about one to two hours. I like to put my mold into the fridge as it makes my unmolding easier and cleaner. I'm also gonna show you how to use these bars if you don't know yet in just a moment. Once unmolded, I like to let them cure for about one to two days before using them. Here is how you apply the massage bars or body bars. You place it between your hands for a few seconds until the bar starts to melt in contact with the skin and then you just glide it on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're interested in more skincare DIY. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I see you very soon for another interesting video and in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!